Yahtzee! So we are back, folks. This is Con Ulrich with another episode of XCOM 2. And right here we have to go and do one of those hack network stations, which is way the heck up here. Uh, it feels like it's a really long distance away, but at least we have stuff like we are all sneaky in cover. So for the first time in a really long time in my mind, uh, we are actually concealed. Uh, for the last several missions, we've just been out in the open, out in the open, out in the open. Which has totally been kind of uncomfortable for me. Since I kind of like enacting this whole like sneaky Mission Impossible-esque maneuvers. We are back to Assassin's Creed. Which makes me kind of stoked. Um, and can we honestly say that these these vehicles are ridiculously cool looking? Um, I get the feeling that there's going to be a sensor tower or something nearby. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on it. Solid copy. And we're going to go over our squad real quick while I'm thinking about it. So, we have Theodore Moreau, who now has a nickname, Zulu. Uh, we have the first half of the Bandit Brigade, Jack McLaughlin. We have the second half of the Bandit Brigade, which is Melissa White, our gunner. And this is the Lady Jane Kelly. She's back in action, which is kind of nice after taking a long time on the DL. Will do. So I'm stoked to have her back around, too. And since we're concealed still all the way through, we're going to continue shifting up. Position confirmed. I get the wonder if it's kind of like a really, really light opposition mission. I don't know. We'll, fight. we'll figure it out together, though, as we always do. Oh, look. So people up here. Okay. So this is kind of a cool thing. This is one of the new mechanics. Uh, since we are a resistance group, and you know, kind of a fringe opposition group, um, if we get picked up by the common civilians, uh, they will actually rat us out, which is not good. Um, and the question really is becomes whether or not we really want to neutralize all the targets or just bolt our way up here. I looked like there was an advent soldier here before, but even with that, I kind of want to get my troops into position. Maybe we can take out these other two guys real quick and then be nifty. There's a jack up. I wonder if I can actually hack that station for anything worthwhile. Got a 55 hack skill against this is probably something like, something like 60 or 70 defense. I don't know whether that's going to do anything worthwhile, but we'll find out. Okay. Oh my gosh, that'd be, that, that would be amazing. If I could do this, that'd be fantastic. Um, that would be bad. So actually, we're going to cancel. Um, and we're going to shift up with everyone else first. Not Jane, you are going to move forward. Confirmed. And you can do this, and you'll probably actually have a better chance of doing things. So if I remember correctly, the hack choices that you have is that if you go and do... There's the comment, the first thing over here to the left bit, that's what you always get no matter what it is. If you hack reward, if you beat this, I don't I guess I don't get both. But I would get this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack. Really? Jeez. Alright. That's BS. I'm calling BS. 70%, bro. 70%. How do you screw that? Yikes. Okay. Arg. Clearly the technical aspect kind of escapes my troops. Okay, so I can throw a grenade and probably hurt people a lot. I can probably shoot a grenade and hit both. No? Okay, I'll open up the, I'll open up the everything so that way people can actually take a shot. Punk. The Lancer's going to run and hit somebody, which is going to be annoying. 
50%, cheese. 50%, 52%. Well, let's hopefully kill the sectoid. Okay, that was not killing the sectoid. In fact, that was the opposite of killing the sectoid. That was keeping him alive. Ugh. Okay. So I still have a target up. Promotion. Cool. And of course he's gonna run over and try to hit Jane. Oh, he's not. They're trying to flank us. I'm looking ugly over here. You're looking ugly. I, I'd say you look pretty normal to me. He's stunned. Oh, so Jack's no longer stunned. Okay, so that's one of those things. I'm not sure quite how all this is gonna work out. But let's try to kill. Good shot. Cool. All right, so we're clear from enemy contacts for the moment. I'm guessing there's still at least one or two more baddies in the area, but I'm gonna move up towards... Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could be worse. You know, so you guys gonna activate? Then activate. And the he's running off to the side, that's fine. I know I seem like I've just used grenades and stuff with that, like, without thinking, but I kind of get the feeling that, honestly, having a line of sight on people is way more important to my long-term health than keeping grenades and all the kind of explosives around. I also have read, in one of the pro-mission tips, basically, that um, destroying corpses or hitting corpses with grenades and stuff like that is going to make it so that it's harder for me to get resources in the long term. In my mind, having resources in the long term is predicated on the notion of not dying. Uh, which is difficult to do if you are going to get shot out of cover and things like that. Um, so maybe hopefully what I can be able to do is I can have Moreau set on overwatch and hopefully the officer will charge forward. And he picked him off. Way to go. Actually, that one actually almost picture perfect. He's probably going to take a shot at Melissa. Oh no. Okay. Jane Kelly. Could definitely be worse. So, the Lady Jane is going to shift forward. I basically have about four turns to get close enough to everything. 40%. Um... Ideally, I would love to get a much better hit percentage than that. I shift somebody up here, just in case. Yeah, cool. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. I hope it's worth it. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be interacting with the mission, or if he's just being a pain, but that, that'll work out. Alright, Jack's gonna move up. Jack's gonna be wounded, which is gonna be kind of annoying. Um, but he will be able to at least heal himself. Which, in my mind, is just as important as everything else. Well done. That's an awful accent, I'm sorry. Um, and because it's worth it to me to actually have 68%, I will do it. Those things, however, those kills, no matter how many I have of them, they will never get old. Why she said? Why did she say that she's flanked? Oh, okay. I was like, oh my god, why is she flanked? Why is she flanked? I don't see any bad guys. Okay, we're good though. All right. So next turn, I should be able to hack the exposed point, and you should be all set with this. So you're gonna shift forward. What's over there? Take cover behind this monstrously large statue, which is in no way compensating for anything else. Okay, maybe you'll rush forward and hack the thing next turn. Redeem yourself for your god-awful attempt before. Oh, no, wait, that was the Moreau that, that screwed that up. I'm sorry, Jack. You, I, I take that back. That was really mean. I'm sorry. Set on Overwatch. You can reload your weapon, because you, you disappoint me. 
Jane's gonna move up. She's also gonna reload. Nikes. That's annoying. I can't even see them. Okay, so an Avent Lancer and a Sectoid. Gabba, 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 gabba. Moreau. Oh god, Moreau's gonna get hit, isn't he? It's still moving. Very good. Um, this could be bad. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. I forgot if I could do that. Okay, that's still the last movement, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, so hopefully they'll run forward and try to hit Moreau. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Just don't. Don't. Okay, that's fine. Freak him out. Freak him out. Go ahead. Freak him out. Run and take cover. Woohoo! That went better for me than I thought it was going to. Wait, don't shoot my own person. Okay. I was thinking, oh my god, that's going to be awful. Not entirely sure how Jane is um, flanked, but she's probably going to hit with something, isn't she? Yep. Oh, whoa. Hey, suck it, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're freaking out. Okay, you are going to come back over here. Um, yeah, you're going here. I kind of hoped you had not gone from I whatever. Enemy destroyed. Nuts. Well, would you look, at that? look, something shiny. Repeater. Cool. Maybe that means I can take more shots quicker. That guy's love this. I don't know. At the same time, I'm just going to shift up here to the side and pray that we should be able to get a nice, awesome flank on this. And the answer to that question is no, but we'll take a shot anyway. Good shooting, Melissa. I'm proud of you. Here, should you get a promo out of that? Nice! Positive confirmation. Area secured. Cool. Um, in that case, Jack, you are going to go and not disappoint me as much as you're Oh my god. So contemporary did. So I can shift you up closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Moreau is not panicking anymore. That's good. No. You are going to actually hack the workstation. I gave you a chance to redeem yourself where the rest of your other specialists did not work. So I automatically get that. Cool. Just getting time reduced. That would be amazing. That would be fantastic, but that would be really kind of rough. So I'll do this one. Woohoo! Yay! So do I, does that mean just the one time, or is that every all the time? Because that'd be really, really amazing. We're good to go. Cool. So one guy wounded. It's excellent. We are good to go. It definitely could have gone, gone a little bit better, but that's fine. First time we actually haven't gotten a full 100% successful sh kill shot percentage, you know? But, eh. Average enemies killed per turn. Less than one. It's still a record. Way to go, us. Oh, and we got the repeater, too. So, I'll see you guys back at base. We'll be looking to see how things go.